let's assess whether the universe is in fact fine-tuned. And there are two arguments against that. Mm -hmm. One says that the tests that we're using now, varying one variable, mm -hmm. is not the way to do it. Mm -hmm. You need to vary multiple variables at the same time. And if you do that, that the universe can look a lot less tuned. Well, you could vary them all in the same proportion, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so you can, it, it, you, you can maybe expand the range of universes that look as though they're set up f for life. So, yeah, you're right. I think what that does at best is, is increase the, uh, the proportion of universes that, are, that, are, that would end up okay. being fine-tuned. Fair enough. The, the next critique says that uh, we're defining life as, as we are. Mm. And it could be that there's other kinds of life that would be selected for or generated by a different kind of universe. And okay. if we don't know a different kind of life, we, we can't assess that possibility. Yeah. I, I think when we're talking about the fine-tuning, we're talking about the idea of anything complex at all coming into existence. I mean, if you change these parameters, you get... You know, all the, all the hydrogen turned into helium in the mm. first fraction of a you know minute or so of the uh, of the big bang you get no carbon. Carbon is a very stable element for long chain molecules and so on but if you take sort of the initial balance of expansion and contraction you know the mean density of stuff in the universe has to be right to about one part in 10 to the 60. If you change it outside that range what you get is a universe that either collapses too quickly for anything to happen at all or expands too fast for anything to happen at all. So there's very little chance of life in those kinds of, of universe. I mean we can certainly imagine other forms of life but these require some kind of complexity. So now we have at least an assessment of what fine-tuning means mm. and and of course, the alternative explanation to a designer are multiple universes. Yeah. So I think pretty much if you're in the atheist camp, you're virtually driven to this, this alternative of, of, of some kind of multiverse. Now, it seems to me there are a lot of problems with that, not least the fact that we could never uh, observe other universes. Well, you would admit that if you only have one universe and the constants really are fine-tuned, that's a bigger problem. So multiverse reduces the need for God. Would you not admit that? I would agree that it's an alternative explanation and, and that the fine-tuning demands some kind of explanation. Uh, and so, therefore, I would see that the multiverse as a possible explanation. I just don't think that it's as viable as God. I, I, and, it, and your opinion is fine, but, but what yeah. I'm saying is a simpler issue, that the multiverse, uh, in a multiverse, the need for God would be less than if we had a single universe truly fine-tuned. I think that's correct, okay. yeah. But you would then go further and say, mm. e even if, if the need for God is reduced, it, it's still there. Yeah, exactly, because you still have to ask these meta questions. Why this multiverse mm -hmm. uh, and not another multiverse? Why is there a multiverse at all? Why is there anything, something rather than nothing?